welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the month of July 2017 and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the general reading um, the English general reading um, July 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 okay July is going to be <laughs> one of those months because I have not I am not sure by the time I should finish these videos I should be able to upload um, the energies of what is coming in because since the month of March there is, has been portals opening up on this planet and a lot of new energies are coming through a lot of new um, beams are coming out so a lot, of, a lot of new stuff you're going to start feeling different you're going to really really start feeling different and uh, a lot of stuff is going to be happening around you uh, strange things there are so many fires so many strange things has been going on this is going to continue to go on for the rest of this year it is as if this year is 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 is, 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 is the wheel of karma so all these karmatic things all these dramatic uh, things in the news are coming up so this month of july is going to be it's the it's 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 going to be shaky it's going to be shady for a lot of people out there so be aware of what is happening in july because you're going to understand that the changes are just going to be coming up and you you need to know how you can deal with these changes and and the energy vibration that is here in the month of July is going to be profound, profound, um, very strong because a lot of the beans are coming out. As I've said, the galactic beans um, gave me a message for all you people um, in July that uh, begins to feel the changes, especially for the people who are in the fourth and fifth dimension, because I've been speaking to people who are vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimension, and they can see the changes, they can feel the changes. They are seeing these new beings um, appearing and disappearing. So this is going also going to be happening. A lot of portals are opening up on the hurt because the energy of Mother Hurt is changing. And what is happening is that she's trying um, to throw off uh, um, too much of the negative energy and the negative weight so if you realize all the chaotic chaotic things that has been going on the last time it's because mother earth is changing our energy vibration frequency and these people um, who are hearing voices and all of these sort of a thing it's the um, beams that are coming in and yes not because um, um, these beams are coming in to help uh, um, their counterparts which is uh, um, uh, the, the the earthlings the well it's not really earthling they're, we're, they're wearing the earth the earthly body the leg the the carcass of what we're what we're carrying but they're not all um, earthly beams okay so they are coming in and they're coming in with an influx and they are affecting other people and other energies and i can feel them around me so um if you guys out there who are seeing them and you're seeing them around me you can just mail me and let me know because a lot of people who are vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimensions they have started seeing these beams and connecting with these beams okay today is friday the 16th of uh, June that I'm doing this video and uh, three days before Monday from Sunday a portal at open and I say portal some people call it uh, um, but but the energies that have been coming through this portal is just weird it's just weird it's like really weird things has been happening um, in my section of the woods <laughs> and <laughs> and I'm not in the woods but um, um, a lot of a, 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 lot, a lot of strange things has been happening to me I've been meeting people I've been seeing things I'm beginning to see behind the veil so um, and you can actually see the 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 walls are crumbling down because you're seeing light you're seeing you know light it's as if you're breaking out and you're seeing light i've having vivid dreams um i'm doing a lot of astral travel because i'm i'm, I'm meeting my counterparts um 
and 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 uh, um yeah so um that's sort of a thing you will happen you happen to have vivid dreams and then you wake up and you thought did I dream that or didn't I dream that but um for the people who are doing astro travel because a lot of us do has to travel at least every person when they're sleeping they their spirit goes somewhere else okay so when people say you know I saw you in my dream last night um, actually you were in the person dream because you connect with them in the spiritual realm so a lot of that is going to start happening because it's, it's it already started happening in um, the month of um, July so uh, June so a lot of this is going to start happening what is what I need to um, let a lot of people be aware of is that um, there is going to be a sexual reg resolution that is going to happen it's as if you meet people and you feel as if you have known them for a long time but and um, they're your they're not really your soulmate but because of the energy that is coming in on the earth um, some people are going to become very confused and and some people are going to be especially people who have the fair men of uh, you know that um, uh, chemical that you give off the sexual chemical that is going to be extremely strong um, from now until um, the month of July and I know somebody who carries that <laughs> and I have been um, I don't know if I am doing it myself but I have been realizing that a lot of men have that especially when I go out because I relocate uh, and and, and uh, especially when I go out I can see I can feel the energies of these men coming off which was not so prominent like a couple of years ago but it, it, you know the last time and, and and the sexuality from these people are coming out so um, what is going to happen is that it's, it's, it's going to be like a sexual revolution but um, it's going to be you're connecting with people and you're thinking that you know them but it's as if uh, because you're going in and out of uh, um, dimension but you know the people who are in the fourth and fifth dimension will be aware of this sort of a thing and um, you know be careful whatever you be you know I, I can only advise and I can let people know what what exactly is going to happen but I can't say um, um, it's, it's it's gonna be perfect because it's, it's actually not going to be extremely perfect but we just have to work with whatever energies that comes in for us okay so be aware these portals are open up you're going to feel different on the 9th of uh, um, July this full moon is coming in which is the new moon and uh, you know the, the the end of June to the f the f the first of July it is you know the ninth of July it's going to be there's a lot of going to be a lot of scrambling and this full moon is going to be in the sign of Capricorn so it's going to affect all the earth people okay whenever a full moon is in the sign of one um, 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 uh, um, energy vibration sign it's going to affect uh, all the three that is in there and I need to do a video so that you people can know um, who is it going to affect so uh, the Taurus is the the Virgos and the Capricorns are going to be affected by this energy um, uh, coming up because you guys are the earth sign and especially with this full moon in Capricorn it's it's, it's going to and and, and it's uh, you know Saturn is there which is just going to rip things and apart and take things apart and you know Jupiter is is somewhere around there so it's gonna bring a little luck you know but you're you're going to have a thing with Pluto and Mars and Saturn so be aware of this sort of energy that is coming in okay um, I decided to um, give a breakdown of because I always do it but sometimes I don't have any time but the, the the energies are so changing and I really need to let people understand what is going on because a lot of people um, you know they're going to start feeling the sexual energy especially for people who are not really um, who are not really sexually active and they're, they're going to feel this energy because it's, 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 it's a, um, the, the new energies that are coming in is affecting our DNA so um, we are awakening we are we are positively awakening to a certain aspect of ourselves and this is what is going to happen okay let me look at July for you. July is going to be 
um, the energy of July is going to be the star so this is just going to be wonderful it's going to be the star is uh, has two side to it the star is your wishes and dreams coming true but yet still with an eight is in infinity abundance is strength materialistic things and that sort of a thing so um, the, the energy for July is going to be the number seven energy which is just going to be profoundly good it's going to affect each and every person what is so good about July which is I'm gonna go to that because it's a powerful month the month of July it's as if we are really going to start seeing changes in the month of July it's as if the changes is going to come out as we look at the first week in July we have uh, um, the energy of uh, the wheel of fortune which is a fire energy the fire energy is um, is in the first week the wheel of fortune this is going to be profoundly good for um, the cancers for the cancers and the Leos um, cancers it's going to be especially for the cancers it's just going to be extremely 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 good for the cancer so for the cancers there's going to be a lot of luck coming in for you cancers um, wonderful luck and remember that the wheel of fortune is actually um, for you cancers it's going to be extremely positive because you have the cancers uh, and then you have the Leos at the end uh, changing in uh, um, the zodiac energy vibration on the 23rd so you have the cancers uh, from um, the 21st of June until July 22nd and then you have the Leos uh, from uh, um, the 23rd until um, August. So for the Cancers, the Wheel of Fortune is going to be super because the Wheel of Fortune um, carries the energy of uh, um, because it's, 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 it's fire. So it carries the energy of that sort of a it, it carries the four element, the four positive element that we we need. So it's water, fire, hair, and uh, um, and, and and the moon energy is going to come up because the sun the fire of the sun but the Leo's have the fire of the sun so it's going to also because the cancers are the water sign people and ruled by the moon so the cancers are ruled by the moon and here you have the energy of um, the wheel of fortune which is a fire sign so this is going to bring a lot of cancer people a lot of luck in the first week a lot of luck in the first week luck is going to be prominent in the first week okay and let's see what else is going to happen for you guys in the first week and here I am I'm using the energy guilt guilt um, there's going to be guilt for some people in the first week um, guilt is coming up for some people whatever that situation is a lot of people are going to be feeling guilty about things and I can understand why guilt come up with a wheel of fortune because it's a karmatic situation the wheel of fortune is um, really a karmatic sort of a energy and whenever it brings up guilt that mean there there are things that you need to work out that you haven't worked out and uh, you're feeling guilty or there are things that you did in the past uh, that needs to be cleansed uh, and um, the energy of guilt come up and the energy of guilt is just breaking your own energy vibration whenever the, uh, the, the energy of guilt comes up which is an orange energy so and um, the color orange is always uh, the sacred chakra it's a sacred chakra it's uh, working with the sacred chakra okay so the first week is going to be a week where you're working with the sacred chakra so this is going to be a profoundly wonderful week you can call upon Archangel Metatron and the angels that carries the um, the orange ray Archangel Metatron is one of the most powerful um, angels that carries the orange ray and as you look at it I'm not setting the cards I haven't placed the cards I'm doing it as we go by and by because it's very important that these energies the number two energies is going to be extremely prominent in this week so whatsoever is happening um, with that sort of energy it's going to be very very prominent okay in this week so we're working with um, this the 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 the, the, the 
the chakra. Okay. And um, um, the sacred chakra. And we're working also with guilt and the wheel of fortune. Okay. So in the first week, it's going to be a fire as a lot of guilt is going to come up and with a lot of guilt we need to use we need to use um, our power to clear the guilts that are coming up okay as we go to the second week we have the energy vibration of justice and this is just one of my favorite favorite cards to come up in a reading I love balance if you if it's not a legal situation it's going to be balanced coming in your life you can also balance your masculine and feminine side which is just one of the most beautiful thing when you balance your masculine and feminine side you feel at one with yourself so you're not with hearts you're not thinking Oh, I should use my feminine wisdom or oh I should um, use uh, the, the 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 energy of uh, um, the, the you know the man power or coming up no because you whenever you balance uh, the masculine and the fem feminine you feel unconditional love and no one can take that away from you okay so this is going to be just a super 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 wonderful this is going to be a positive feedback a positive energy good things um, a positive outlooks on certain things so whatsoever that you're going through and um, you cancers out there and the cancers and the air people are going to have a wonderful time um, even though you cancers are water sign you're vibrating in your own zodiac energy vibration so you but you you balance um, the water with the hair so you're having this justice and justice is the energy of the Libran so a lot of liberants are going to have a lot of um, um, situations where you're feeling out and away it's as if you're feeling you're floating you're you're you know you're not feeling as is um, life is it's as if life is running away from you okay let's see what other energies we have because I'm working with the chakras this month is because we need to learn about all 12 chakras and we each and every one of us need to start balancing all 12 chakras because this month is all about the new energies that are coming in changing our, our, our um, DNA vibration and we need to learn about our chakra system how many chakras we have and what needs to be balanced and the four most the 12 most important chakras uh, what need to be balanced let's see what you have for and it's a color yellow and the color yellow is always bringing um, a new uh, vitalized energy in your life and it says uh, the separating the separating that is when you you kind of take it on, on the back burner I always say to people take it on the back burner and they go what do you mean but sometimes when I'm channeling um, um, it depends on who is sending out the message and then by channeling um, beams do not speak in language they speak in sign and that sort of a thing so they're giving you the information you have to translate the information and I'm always saying you know take it on take it a little bit backwards so this separating is uh, when you just take it quietly you know you take time to rest so whatsoever is happening you take time to plan it out and the yellow energy is always uh, the energy of your um, your solar plex chakra and Archangel Uriel is the one who governs your solar plex chakra and that is the number three chakra so you have the number two and the number three chakras you need to learn about your chakras okay so we have the separating and whenever our solar plex chakra is low we have no energy we have no self self-respect we have no self-control um, we feel as if we're falling um, away so you need to call upon Archangel Uriel beloved Archangel Uriel um, touch open and activate my solar plex chakras and by doing that you will feel a surge of energy and vitality and always say things three times and said thank you so is it and so it will be okay so do not sit in a stage of disappearing but stand up and call upon the angels and call upon the archangels I will see if I, I still have the archangel cards because my computer my computer crashed 
and so I will see if I still have the Archangel cards to put the Archangel by each week in the general readings to see um, how um, you guys can deal with certain aspect in the second week so the second week is going to be the week of an um, and hair energy and what it's going to do is go, it's going to um, awaken you and you can call upon Archangel Uriel to touch open and activate your solar plex chakra and that is going to bring you back self-confidence and bring back your self-esteem and bring balance in your life because it's the week of balance so uh, then I know why the angels let me see the energy of the solar plex chakras okay um the next energies and which is very important so I want each and every person to understand each and every person to understand what is happening here is that we have the Empress the Empress is here in the third week the Empress is the energy of her heart element so we have two fire and one hair and one earth element the energy of the Empress is a, is a very positive positive energy because it is um, it is the materialistic aspect of who you are and where you are on your part so what is happening in July is that the energy comes in the third week which is a wonderful time for the Empress to come because if you realize the em the Empress has been coming up very regularly since the year 2017 she has been here because she is so helping each uh, each person because the world was like last year and the world came up a lot but the Empress is coming up she has been here so many times you can look back on the readings how many times she has been in a reading and the Empress is here in the third week and this is an earth Energy, so she's bringing balance. It's a week of fertility, so for you, Cancers and Leos, be aware of this. You can um, get pregnant if you uh, don't wish to get pregnant, you can get pregnant in this week, so be aware of what is happening for you because um, the fertility and fertility, but yet still um, abundancy and wonderful um, um, new uh, new materialistic things. So you're going to get things. So for people who will be um, trying to get um, student loan and that sort of a thing, it's going to open up to you in the third week, which is just so wonderful and so positive. Here I am, Axe in the Chakras. And the angels of the chakras, the angels of the 12 chakras, what is going to happen in the third week for um, the chakra system? And we have grief in the third week. We have grief. And this grief, grief and grief. And this, um, looking um, for my glasses. We have we have grief in the third week. This grief, and um, it's yeah, grief does comes up. You know, we have guilt and we have um, the separating and grief, and this is the number three. So we need to work with the heart chakra, the heart chakra. Whenever grief comes up, it can be a loss of a family, a loss of something in our lives. Um, uh, the grief is a heartbreak and that sort of a thing that comes with the energy but let's look at it this way whenever we have grief because I have been through it myself you need to understand that not everything was meant um, to be and if there is you know I've always said and you know it's 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 a normally English saying word that uh, um, um, who God bless no one's curse so even if people or hating you and trying to bring you down and trying to break you down they should look at them own selves why are they doing it because you are vibrating on a different energy vibration this is why I am um, working with the chakra system is very good because whenever we find out that we are vibrating with guilt and uh, the separating because we don't know who we are anymore in the second week and now we have grief grief sometimes I, I I actually now people I have um, so pro reprogram myself because this is a time of reprogram myself I have no grief I can't I, I, I wish not to say about if if or whatever there is no grief if someone is deliberate deliberate deliberately um, trying to break you down 
they are doing it to themselves okay so if people are lying and not speaking the truth they're definitely doing it to themselves okay so um having grief over something you need to say i i, I need to be I, I need to let go of this grief i am asking my angels and guides to come and help me heal this grief and the best person to call up on as a healing angel is Archangel Raphael. He carries the green ray and he heals the, the, the art chakra. You can call upon Archangel Raphael and um, Archangel Raphael and uh, um, Archangel Shamuel. <laughs> because she's she, she 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 uses the pink ray and this is the green ray which is always Archangel Raphael and it's just a pity that I doesn't have his card deck because I have um, his card deck and it's all about healthy eating it's all about changing the way you think and eat so remember whoever you are out there and whatever is going on in your life, uh, the grief, uh, release yourself from grief because um, um, the Empress is here to um, heal whatever grief you're going through. Okay, she's a mother figure, she's a nurturing figure. And I, I am not sure if you guys see where this reading is going because it has a profound information is coming out in these readings and actually. Um, you, you might think it's a sad month but it's not a sad month it is good when we deal with these emotional unbalance and as we release them in a month as this one you would realize how better you feel moving on to December so it's going to be very very wonderful last energy because it's going to be four weeks we have the energy of uh, the emperor so we have the empress and the emperor so it's going to be a nurturing month the last two weeks the we and and this is wonderful because we have the earth and the fire so the earth is bringing balance in the last two weeks and the fire in the last week is cleansing this emperor has to do with um stability the emperor always come with stability the emperor is the successor the emperor is the aka the 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 acknowledger of uh, success and he is also the father figure let's not forget that but yet still he is the boss this is the card of promotion so a lot of people will be having um, promotions and changes it's going to happen to a lot of people in this month because um, it's June it's, it's it's July the June the first half of the year is finished and this is the new half of the year which is the month of July so this is good it's just going to be a very very wonderful wonderful situation that will be happening and that will be coming out so this is going to be extremely positive so here we are we have the Emperor and the Empress in the last week and we are going to call upon the angels of the chakras to ask the angels of the chakra what chakra do we need to deal with in the last week of July so let's see because sometimes people said but you never you always lay the cards out and never do it online it takes up a lot of time but yet still here I am doing it for you guys so let's see what's happening in the last and final week of July we have another green but this is um, the energy of wisdom so this is good this is the energy of wisdom wisdom so this wisdom will be the energy of your crown chakra yeah I hope I have it because I still haven't found a wonderful um, chakra card because wisdom in a wisdom would be um, the crown chakra but yet still um, I would say the crown chakra because you're um, the inner wisdom is when you receive divine information or pure light which brings you um, information from the divine so again the green does always have to be um, something to do with our chakra um, this our chakra is like grief but wisdom 
uh, wisdom is always have to do with the crown chakra so here we are working on three uh, four the four most wonderful and positive uh, um, chakra so we're working with four chakras in this month I'm constantly going to use these chakra cards in the weekly reading and in the monthly readings because you all need to learn about the chakras now the crown chakra is a meter above your your head okay the crown chakra and Archangel Metatron works with the chakra and what is that what happened is that information is download to you via your mole there's a little mole here and there's a, a reason why this little soft spot in your head you know baby has that little mole it's a reason why is that soft spot and why and um, some people call it the tantanella I think that's Dutch but uh, that little soft spot that is where the universe download information whenever you're walking outside and there you get it via your crown chakra so here I am again people I'm teaching you you need to empower yourself and know why certain things happen why certain things uh, is going to happen and why certain things uh, happen why we have this who would think that we have this little thin um, thing here and everybody would want to know what it is for you can feel your heart your heart beating through it but it's the reason why because we're all the universal angels they had this a beautiful plan they know exactly what each and everything is on our bodies for even if we thought why are our ears are so um, open there is a reason because um, by the ears you can tell um, people um, what family group they're from uh, the the larger the hairs the 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 the, the weaker the hairs the smaller the ears the sort of a thing can say what family group what um, um, intergalactic group are you from and what family group because none of us our hairs are the same okay so there is a lot of stuff um, and I'm going to really, really, really try and do videos with so people can understand and uh, why our bodies are like this. Okay, this is a general reading, and for um, at the end of um, everything, you're going to have a, a good outcome. So whatever emotional um, cleansing, because I am going to call this July emotional cleansing, a month of emotional cleansing. Whatever this emotional cleansing is happening for you in this month, you know, at the end of it, it's going to be positive because it's going to be good news. So for the fire people, for the cancer people and the Leo people, especially for the Leo people, expect um, good surprises wonderful new possibilities are going to come in your life uh, expect good news to come to you because it's a month uh, especially for you Leos uh, that are celebrating birthday at the end of it uh, it's as if um, the the um, the energy of um, the star came in at the first part for the cancers and at the last part we have the energy vibration of the six of one so here we are we have an air which is the air the um, energy of um, you know this is a wonderful and the energy from this is also a wonderful wonderful effect on us so this is going to be extremely extremely beautiful as I've said um, um, this 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 month is going to be the changing of the guards there's so many new species coming in so many um, new beams that are coming down with higher energy vibration that wants to connect with us we need to open up ourselves if you're not ready your guides and angels will protect you ask them to protect you but as the energy vibration vibrates through this heart we are going to feel the changes and till now in December uh, the changes are going to be happening you're going to um, feel an awareness that humanity they're all consciously awakening okay because this is the time of an awakening it's there's an urge 
and a wave of awakening that is happening and a lot of people are going to feel this energy vibration and I want to say to each and every person out there please like share these videos please leave a message um, um, leave a message of what you think about this video and um, remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign with these videos also for the month of July and I want to say namaste and I will speak to you next week but also next month